back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today I'm going to be reviewing the brand The Ordinary. If you don't know who they are, they're basically a brand who is sold at Sephora and Hudson's Bay and a few other places. And they just sell really affordable, good skincare. Their products range from anywhere from like sunscreens to serums and they just have a lot to offer. So the products that I'll be reviewing today are their daily set, which includes their Squalane Cleanser, Natural Moisturizing Factors and Hyaluronic Acid, and their Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5 Serum, along with a few other products that I've bought separately, which include their Caffeine Solution 5% and EGCG, their Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%, which I've also reviewed partially in my video that I uploaded last week. You can check that out right up there. And their 100% plant-derived squalane. So hopefully this helps you guys choose what products to get, if you like them or not, and let's get right into the video. So the first few sets of products I'm going to be reviewing is their daily set. This, as you saw, comes with a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a hyaluronic acid serum. So starting off with their cleanser, this is their squalling cleanser. It is a oil-based cleanser and also can be used as a makeup remover. It's directed to use it morning and night on dry hands, rub the product in between your hands, warm it up, and then put it on your face. And that's exactly what I do. I don't typically use this product to take off makeup, but I have before and it works great. The only thing I would recommend is not using it around your eyes because it kind of stings mine. First of all, this has a good smell. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like vanilla-y. I don't know. I really like the smell of this. It leaves your skin feeling very soft and moisturized. And I also think that since it's an oil-based cleanser and I have oily skin, somehow it helps to regulate the sebum production within my skin. So if you're looking for a cleanser, just a gentle, simple cleanser that can also remove makeup, I definitely go with this product. I have no complaints about this product. I've been using it for two months and this is my second repurchase and I'm going to buy the bigger version as well right after this. Next up is their natural moisturizing factors and hyaluronic acid. Now this is seen as a surface hydration formula, so it's basically supposed to be used as a moisturizer, but it says on the package to use as needed after serums. So I don't use this as a like literal moisturizer. I've seen people use it as just like a normal everyday moisturizer, but I don't think it's supposed to be meant like that. I think it's supposed to just add for like specific spots for extra hydration and that's how I use it so for example anytime I have like dry spots from acne I use this and it just helps to keep your skin moisturized and everything so if you want like a good spot moisturizer I think this is good I just don't really think it's necessary if you're buying it separately but it's great if it's available in like one of these sets like the daily set the last product from their daily set includes their hyaluronic acid 2% and b5 serum so outside of the set i've also bought a another one this is my new bottle i actually just opened it today and i have to say i really like this i've never tried a hyaluronic acid serum or any serum for that matter before these but i love how this makes my skin feel it has an interesting smell like a lot of people say i've never really noticed it but today i noticed it when i opened the new bottle there's like a just a like a, a just an, an interesting smell but i mean you don't smell it for a long time it's just when you're putting it on it's meant to be put on right after you wash your face so your skin is like still damp and it can lock in the moisture and this is just supposed to act as like an extra moisturizing agent i was worried about using this whole set because it's very moisturizing and i have oily skin but i think all of the products all together have really helped to just reduce my sebum production i wake up in the morning with less oil on my face and it's just really helpful i also like that this product in specific brightens my face a lot i really like what this does to my skin and i also feel like it also helps the texture on my forehead i have a very textured forehead like other than just dealing with a few breakouts and everything now my biggest concern is texture and i feel like this has helped to address that a lot so i definitely recommend this if you're looking for something for texture Moving along from the set, I have the three other products that I'm going to be talking about. So the first one I'm going to start off with is the Caffeine Solution 5% ECG, EG, EGCG. This is meant to reduce the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and of puffiness. And I use this just, all I do is take the thing. Also warning you, it gets this like weird, weird residue along it. And you can just clean that. I don't really know what that's from, but... It happens. All of them come in a little dropper and I just use one single small drop. Lately, I actually felt like I don't even need to. I just go along, I just touch the side of the dropper and use that. And I just rub it like this in between my fingers. And sorry, my parents are yelling. And then I just rub it under my eyes with my ring finger and pat it. 
and then kind of just go a bit up here and then along my nose because I feel like it helps with the puffiness a bit and my nose gets really puffy. So I feel as though this is helping. In terms of reducing like pigmentation, I feel like it's helped a bit, but nothing drastic. My dark circles are really hard to just like target and get rid of. I feel like this has helped a bit, but nothing extreme that I'd be like, oh my God, you need this. But I've been using it for three months, I think, and it's okay. One of my friends uses this on his entire face. Because his girlfriend bought it for him and I don't know why he uses it on his whole face. But he just like puts it everywhere and I, I think it helps. He says that it helps him with his puffiness of his like whole face. So I mean I guess you could use it like that. But I just use it under my eyes and around my nose. Parents are beefing downstairs about me. Wow. Next up is the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% solution. Now this is supposed to be for blemishes specifically. It's supposed to help like reduce them and everything. I don't know, I didn't find that it did much for my skin. I felt like it helped to brighten my skin a lot, but other than that, it wasn't really doing much. From what I've witnessed with this product, it doesn't do much for my skin, but it might work for you. I just find that benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid and clindamycin are the three products that work best for my skin. The last product I'm going to be reviewing is the 100% plant-derived squalane. So the reason I decided to try this is I've tried other plant-derived squalane oils before and I love the way they work and this is just the same. I don't know what it is about squalane and my skin or if it's just a normal thing. I haven't seen other people talk about it, but I feel like it helps to reduce acne and just like texture and bumps. Like I had this one little bump that was on my skin and I started using the squally on it and it literally reduced it to little to nothing. And I just love the way this makes my skin feel. It's a good moisturizer. I don't use it all over my face. If I have acne scarring, like th little things like that, I'll put it on and just do a little dot. And that's basically how I use this product, but I love it. I use it as a spot treatment mostly, a spot moisturizer, just how I would use the natural moisturizing factors, and I love it. I'd recommend it. It's cheap. Um, I wouldn't recommend it as like a full body thing because I feel like that's going to get expensive if you're using this bottle, which is like, what, $7 Canadian or something. On your whole body, you're going to finish this out in like a few days. Or a week so all in all i would say i'm really loving the brand the ordinary i'm so glad that my cousin introduced it to me because i was always scared like they were so cheap that i was like or affordable um prices that i was just worried that they just weren't gonna work at all but honestly i love it um the products that i'd recommend the most i'd say would be their squalling cleanser for sure their hyaluronic acid and b5 serum and probably their 100 percent plant derived squalane because those are the products i love the most i use them all the time i used i use all of them every single day this brand has really incorporated themselves into my everyday routines but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that video hopefully it was informative and can help you guys choose whether you like this product or not if not i kind of just make these also so i can remember how i liked a product I hope it helped you guys. If it did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what else you want to see from me next. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss a post from me. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.